All right, so now um, let's create a new folder. You can create a new folder on your desktop. If you right click and click new, hit folder, and you can say, you can name it something like JavaScript um, course, if you want, or any name that you want to give it. JavaScript course. Now in, the new, in this new folder, you can create it on your desktop or on your documents, wherever you want to organize or create this folder. Now <clears throat> you can either right click it and you can say open in terminal or open with VS code. But I'll show, I'm going to show you, you can, um, how to open it, um, from Git bash. So open up Git bash and my Git bash is going to open in the other monitor. I'm going to bring it over here. So I'm going to check where I'm located using PWD on the terminal. And then I'm going to CD to the desktop. So desktop, and I'm going to use the command LS to look at everything that's there. And then I'm going to use CD and try to find the JavaScript course folder, JavaScript course folder that I created, hit enter. And you can type code dot, and this will open this current folder using VS code. So you need to type code space dot. Let me zoom in a little bit on this code dot hit enter. And this is going to open a new VS code window. It opened it in my other monitor for me and it's going to open up a new, um, window within folder that you created the JavaScript course. You can open it this way. I just wanted to show you how you can do that from the terminal, but you can also just create your folder, right click and open it with VS code. And that's another way. It is, is the same way. It doesn't matter. You can even open a new um, VS code window, go to file, then open folder and go to your desktop, find the folder and select it and it's going to accomplish the same thing, right? So on this folder, you can start creating, I'm going to have, um, on my other VS code that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to have a folder called JavaScript. So in here, if you click on this and you're going to have icons buttons here. So this icons, this one is to create a new file. This one is to create a new folder inside this JavaScript course folder that we created. So I'm going to have a JavaScript folder, right? You can type it, you can hit enter. And I'm also going to have a Node.js folder. You don't, we don't need the Node.js folder, but you're going to see it on my VS code. We're going to be working on the JavaScript one in here. You can create a new folder also. So if you want to organize it, just like me and name it, um, variables hit enter and then inside this new folder you can create files i'm going to be creating index.js file which a dot not a comma the important the important thing here is um the extension js i'm going to name this is a naming convention we always kind of you're always going to see that index file being created in any type of application that we build that we build so when we're going to be working in index.js files, I might name these files differently, but you can hit enter and you're going to have your first index.js and it's going to be ready to work on your um, program. So this is how you can create folders and create um, different files. I'm going to show you my um, VS code that I'm going to be op um, working on, which is going to be this one. This is the same thing. I have a YouTube series folder that I'm going to be working on inside the JavaScript. I'm going to have, um, different, uh, folders and inside those folders, I'm going to have different files and I'm going to tell you, you know, when to go into these files and when to create new ones. So you can have the same, um, layout as me. If you want, if you want to organize it differently, you can, but remember we need to make sure before we run Node.js, you have to make sure you are in the terminal 
in the same location as the file before you run Node.js and then the, the name of the file. You're gonna see me doing this all the time in the video. So if you have any troubles, you can you will you will see me how you will see how it's done in, every, in each single one of the videos. All right. So let's continue and let's get ready to start using JavaScript. 